Hi, this is Nicole Windham and this is part 4 of e-commerce and in this video we are going to focus on the customization of the appearance of the catalogs and product module. So I'm going to talk you through the different types of customizations that you can achieve when going into the uh, online shop layouts. Talking about the overall layout, the individual catalog layouts, just scratching a little bit on the surface of the most common catalog customizations options. And then finally talking about the individual product layout for the small layout and the large layout. To further customize your catalogs, this can be done by accessing the online shop layouts. And to do so, within the admin, navigate to Site Manager, Module Templates, and Online Shop Layouts. And from here you can see all the different customization options that you have. Starting with the overall layout, this layout is used when displaying catalogs and products to customers. It handles effectively the layout of catalogs and products on the page. You can configure the number of products per row, per page and so forth. You can find the link to a complete list of tags for this layout and their explanations when you click on the link in the slide. In the default template there are three main elements to the overall layout. Usually there's a header which consists catalog breadcrumbs and the shopping cart summary modules. Then there will be a list of sub-catalogs in the current catalog and underneath the list of products in the current catalog. By organizing and customizing the above elements and using your own CSS classes, you can completely customize the entire online shopping look and feel. Other common elements on this page include customizations like including a link to the previous and next link and so forth. The individual catalog layout. This layout allows you to customize the appearance of an individual catalog. For example, when viewing the men's catalog, by the default template you will be able to see the subcatalogs 1, 2 and 3. The appearance of each of these subcatalogs is controlled by this layout. This template can provide a very granular customization as you can add more individual tags and the complete list of all tags can be found on the slide of this presentation and are used to display information about the catalog. These tags can be placed anywhere on the page and then use a CSS class of your choosing to further customize this layout. By default, the classes catalog item and shop dash catalog are rendered for this item. Now back here in the default overall layout, the most common customization options is how the subcatalogs list appears on this layout. And remember we are back in the overall layout. So you can see the tag for the catalog list here. And by giving a number of 4, this is the number of catalogs per row. Other customization options for this text are target frame, for example blank, and by this you specify the frame you want the product to open in, then results per page, which is the number of catalogs you wish to display before the page paginates, then a sort type, which you can set to alphabetical or a weight. The weight option is the default option, so a customized catalog list would look something like that. We keep the number of catalogs per row as 4, leave some options behind but set the order to alphabetical and we, and we do want to render the list as a list and not as a table. Now you can also use the tag insert drop down here and for example enter the tag description and this will render out the description of the catalog that you can set under catalogs and more options. Now every time you access one of the catalogs its description will be displayed which also can contain snippets of HTML, text, images and even flash that are related to that catalog. Besides the overall layout there are product layouts and these layouts control how individual products are displayed in your online shop. One is the individual product layout which is used when the products are displayed in the list view and an individual product layout large which is used to display the detailed view of the individual product. Also what you can see here is the individual product small but a backup view and this view for example is used for the module feature product list so you have more customization options with this layout as well. So back in the individual product small layout this layout is used when the individual product module is inserted onto a page and is also used when the products are displayed in the list view. 
Usually, the product's name and the image are automatically set to link to the detailed view of the product, which is the individual product large layout. The default view can also be customized by inserting individual tags. And again, the complete list of all available tags can be found on the slide for this presentation. One of the most common tags uh, within that layout are the tag add to card and the tag add to card input fields. And these two tags render out the add to card button and the quantity box respectively. When a user clicks on the add to card button, the number of items specified in the quantity box will be added to the card. A standard confirmation message is shown after the user has added items to this card. You can customize the tag add to card in order to display a different tag on the button or even use an image. To change the text, simply add a comma and add your custom text. However, if, if you want to use an image, use the HTML tag for image, define a source with the right path, of course. And this is how you add an image. If you want to force the user to view the details of a product before adding it to the card, then only add this tag to the individual product layout large only. However, if you want to replace the add to card with a buy now button, you can certainly do that by inserting the tag underscore buy now and this tag renders a buy now button. And this button can be customized in a similar fashion to the add to card button. The main difference between this button and the add to card button is that after the user adds an item to the card, they are redirected to the shopping cart page where they can see the summary of their card and check out. So instead of the general system message and staying on the product small view, the user will be redirected to the shopping cart immediately. Another very common customization to this layout is to add the retail price to this layout. As we learned, when adding a price for products, it's possible to add retail and a sale price. The retail price is only used for display purposes. Use this price to indicate to the customer that the retail price was the number X, but now they can get the product for the number Y, Y being the sale price. Remember that this tag is not available for invoices that you email to the customer. The individual product large layout. This layout is used for detailed information about the product and is accessed from the smallest view of the product. You can also link directly to this view of the product. This layout supports almost all of the tags the small layout supports, plus some additional tags. Remember to check out the complete list of tags available that you can find on the slide of this presentation. Some of the most common customizations options are the following. You can add the tag grouping and the tag grouping list to this layout. And remember you can and remember you can insert tags by using the tag insert dropdown and look for all available tags for this layout in this list as well. Purpose of these tags is that you can create multiple products of the same type and group them together. A customer viewing one product can also see the available variations by selecting another product from the group. In order to set up the grouping, go to e-commerce and products. And from here, just for demonstration purposes, I add a new t-shirt, but name it t-shirt small. Now when you go back to the products, and it can be the first one too, under actions, click on group products together and then select the t-shirt and the t-shirt small and move them over to the right panel view and enter the description for the t-shirt small which makes it easy for your customer to select between the two different types. So this is small and this is medium for example. Those checkboxes here, if one product is checked that means it will appear first in the list but also you can use the weighting to weight the different products in the drop-down view that you see on the detail view. Now here, because we have added um, the, tag, the tag grouping and the tag grouping list, you'll see both options here in one view, but you would usually just choose either one of them. So you can select either to have the grouping rendered out as a drop-down or as a list. And by selecting either one of the options here, it will automatically display the detail view of the other product in the grouping. Now back in our individual product large view, you can also add the tag related products or tag related products list to this view. And in order to set up related products, similar to how you set up 
Grouping, find your product under e-commerce and products. Select upsell and cross-sell and then add the one product that is related to this product to the right panel and then we see what happens. And you see here, although it's a little bit messed up, that a small view of the related product has been added to the large view of a product detail. And as I said, there are two tags for basically the same thing. One tag related products, which renders out a list of the small product view, or use the tag underscore related product list to display a checkbox. Okay, finally, another very common customization option is to add poplet images to the large view layout. And by that, you can provide visitors with different views of the same product. These views are called poplets in the system. So when a visitor clicks on a thumbnail, the larger image appears in a lightbox style window. The visitor is also able to view the next or previous image on there. To set up the poplet images, Find your product again under e-commerce and products. Click on poplet images and then simply select the image. You can select the large view for that and the system automatically renders a thumbnail version. So when you save the list of poplet images here, wherever you add the tag poplets um, to the large view layout, um, those will, as I said, rendered out here as thumbnail images. Now click on it and you'll see how the lightbox view will work for the visitor. By adding the tag attributes, you can specify properties such as size or color by using product attributes. So add the tag to the large individual product view. So we go into e-commerce and products and uh, select our t-shirt product here and then when you click on attributes Click on add new product attribute and give the attribute a name such as like basically like a group name such as color and you can render that out as either a list which is a checkbox or drop down list or a radial list. And you can also make this attribute required so the customer will not be able to add this product to the card unless they checked an attribute according to what you have set up for the specific product. Now once you have that product attribute group created, you can set up the different items within the attribute group by clicking on an option. So give the color option a name, for example black, and enter the uh, currency price and be sure to enter it in that format. So if it's uh, the US currency dollars, you have to add US forward slash and then the price. And then also another option would be the white t-shirt for $5. Now refresh the page. So I have to choose either one of these options. And um, the price for this option goes on top of the sell price. So you don't actually have to set a price for this option, but you just want to make sure you have at least the color picked so you can fulfill the uh, correct uh, order to your customer.